in a bit more time as we're doing interacting rather than just me talking. So thank you. No, it's fine. Is, any other questions from anyone? I would just like to say that this is, as, as uh, uh, Larry said in the beginning, it's riveting and I'm just grateful to be able to hear what you have to say. Well, thank you. Yes, I'd like to thank thank you for being on the call. And I'd love to hear more. I have questions for the next call, so I'm going to hold off. Okay. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Um, I, I'm pretty green to this sort of thing, and, and I, I'm curious how you're spelling some of these trusts, but I presume if I go to the positive law, I will understand it. Yeah, you will, and um, it is going to take a few reads because um, one of the things you'll 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 discover uh, is that uh, everybody, and I mean everybody, I mean everybody, but a handful of people have been denied access to the law. What really is the law? Now, as I said to you, law in in its essence is an argument. It's a form of logic, reason. And, and instead, what we have, have been taught to believe is that law is process. So what we, we try and learn is, um, you know, walk two steps. It's like treasure maps. You know, as kids, as treasure maps, you've got to walk ten paces, turn left, turn right, and we're all taught that model. Well, that's actually the template of the Roman cult lawyer's creation of law. Which makes us incompetent. It makes us completely incompetent because we walk into court, we walk three steps, we turn left, we pirouette, mm -hmm. we tap our head three times, and the judge looks at us and says, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. And we say, but that's what it says in Black's Law's Dictionary. <laughs> well, you, you, you have done a very good job of, of laying it out simplistically, a very complex subject. Well, thank you. But look, I mean, as, as, as we said a bit earlier, the only solution is knowledge. <clears throat> and, and let me qualify that even further. The only solution is the living demonstration of knowledge. Now, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret that will happen, <clears throat> but it will only happen if you, if you do dedicate yourself in, in this fashion. The first time you read this, there will be a lot of questions. A lot of stuff won't make sense. A lot of stuff will actually not gel with what you've read before, particularly if you've studied the law. You'll read the second time, and then things will start to click. You'll remember what you were taught versus what you saw and the, and the disconnection, and things will start to make sense because the veil will start to lift. The third time, you won't be worrying about what the words say, because all of a sudden you'll be picking up on a fact that there is a vibration through this. Mm. Same vibration that you feel when you've read a part of, and, I, and I, I mean this with the utmost respect, because I'm mindful of what I'm saying here, but it is the same vibration you read when you read a passage of Scripture more than once, mm -hmm. more than twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, when you get to the point that this is vibrating, you become the Word, the Word becomes you, you become the law. And when you reach that point, and if ever a lawyer is unfortunate to cross your path or a judge from that point on, you become the living law. And I can assure you there is no other remedy that the divine would rather see than men and women represent the living law, and that is the solution to this evil. There's no other. I, I believe what you say. Frank, in I essence, have... the real, uh, not to cut you off, Susan, That's but uh, in essence, until the argument is presented that challenges the existing argument in place. There is no controversy and there is no exit 
from this system that they have established. Would that be a correct assumption in the statement? Correct. Excellent. I have a question for you. Um, my name yeah. is Dawn. Um, there's a fairly large group of us where I live that are desperately wanting to be free of all this. We understand vibration, frequency, many things like that. What can I do to uh, get them uh, working in this area? Uh, um, what would you say? Uh, have them start reading what you have up on your site? What would you feel? Well, I just wondered what your first, what is the first starting off point? Should they understand exactly what you went over tonight, the, the SESTA KV? Well, there'll be a recording of tonight's call. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for some people, hearing the call might be a good start. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm um, and because we talk about the site, that would be a good start as well. But I, I guess for, for, for everybody, <clears throat> whenever you start reading something, particularly if there's new things to learn, you, you need to find something that's that's relevant. So um, I guess out of what we've spoken about tonight, do, do you see the relevance of uh, understanding trust to understand Sesta KV to understand how? we're considered uh, dead things? Oh, yes. They understand those concepts. I mean, that's not a, a difficult one. We're a, we're a pretty nice-sized study group, and <laughs> we just want to move it forward in our community. I mean, that's where our heart is. Well, I think you, you've pretty much then got the answers of what you need to do. So I'm, I, I'm sure and trust that, that if you help your team uh, read and uh, come up with questions and you know, I'll be on again and and uh, and to interact that that it won't take long for you to to feel that vibration and, and to know it and and know how to use it. Thank you. Thank you. This is really exciting. We really appreciate that. And we just think we all are here tonight because we hunger for that freedom that we know our divine creator gave us. Yes. And nothing stands between us and, and our divine creator. Nothing. No. I'm just very encouraged. Thank you very much. No, thank you. I've got about five minutes before I have to go, so I, I would love to answer any other questions or any other comments anyone has. And uh, if I don't get to, to answer a question and you've thought about it, then obviously next uh, next week I look forward to, to answering your questions. But uh, is there anything else anyone wants to ask or comment before I, I have to go? Give them the website one more time. If they'll study that, that'll get them way down the street. Yep. Well, it's uh, one-heaven.org, um, one-heaven.org. And if you go there and look at the positive law, <clears throat> then uh, it's going to make a lot of sense. Frank, uh, Michael Joseph here one more time. And I, I, I'm i not sure we have enough time, but if you do... Uh, Court cases are styled in in names of trust, it appears, and it appears to me that SESTA KV is the uh, styling of the case, and if I'm not trustee or beneficiary, then it appears that I'm nothing but a big dummy sitting in the chair. Mm, well, no, you are the, um, <clears throat> it comes to, you're the, you are the surety to the SESTA KV in accepting the benefits provided by the SESTA KV Trust. Okay, well, if I'm, if I'm the guarantor or the surety, that doesn't necessarily surety. that doesn't make me the uh, trustee or the no. beneficiary. No, just, well, it makes you the account. surety. That's right. That's right. Well, you are the beneficiary in the fact that you accept the benefit by use um, that are issued through the and, but you're also the surety, so they get you on both. They get you on the fact that you accept the um, the liability uh, and you accept the benefit. So, you know, when you have a Social Security card, you're accepting a benefit. When you drive down the road, you're accepting a benefit. When you drive their car, you don't own the title of your car, as you know. You're yeah. accepting a benefit. Yeah. Okay, well, I, maybe we can talk about this next week, but the one thing I'd like to put put out there is, the trustee acts for the trust, so if I'm going to stand in and pay the bills, then then I thought that's the job of the trustee. Yeah, but, but Michael Joseph, do you see how it's easy to slip back into 
worrying about process because this yes, is still part is. of process. And, yes, and none is. of this, yeah, none of this is relevant uh, ultimately. And I, with the greatest respect, you're, what you're telling me is is what you know, obviously a lot of people talk and write about. It, 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 if you do not have a superior trust position to start with, none of this matters. It's all irrelevant, and they will pull powers out that you haven't seen for hundreds of years. And you think, oh my goodness, we thought we were three. No, um, unless you establish a superior argument from the from day one, you are not you are not free. You are not clear, and that's what we're going to focus on next week to show that, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. Very good. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. All right, well, look, it's, it's uh, one minute to go, so um, I just want to thank uh, all of those that invited me onto the call. Um, thank all of you who asked questions and, and um, your kind words. Uh, I, I hope my accent wasn't too, <laughs> too difficult. It's wonderful. Um, I, I hope also that when you do read what's on One Heaven, <clears throat> There is always, a, and all this, there's lots of other things that we didn't discuss tonight. Um, we didn't discuss the covenant, for example. Um, I, I just say to you that uh, anything you see and it doesn't quite make sense, I, I look forward to answering the, any concern. But, but bear in mind this. Uh, if you want to, to put this all in perspective of what this is, then it's simply this. Uh, as one of the, the answers, one of the questions tonight said at the end, no one stands between you and the divine. That is an absolute immutable fact. And because they have made claims and those claims have not been rebutted in clear argument, it is time for a comprehensive, clear claim of right and protest. And this is what this is. So all the parts will make sense as we move forward. Thank you again. I look forward to next Sunday. Thanks again. Got to go. See you. Thank you. Shalom. Have a great one. Bye-bye. You have to see you, Austin's. Well, well, well. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I, can I got a lot of now. questions. <laughs> Very powerful. Yeah, the uh, the site, if you really go to breeding it, I mean, you'll have to spend some time doing it. And just like he says, the more you read it, the more it'll make sense. And here again, until the argument is made uh, on an intellectual understanding level to challenge the presumption that they have inferred, and that from a, a superior position, then uh, everyone will stay just where we are right now. There's no other way around it. I have a question. Sure. I was invited as a guest tonight. Is there a way or is there something I need to do to have a number to come in on the next coming calls? Ma'am, if you sign in as guest, you can... Mm -hmm. Uh, you've got a bar down there, and you can tap in and hit the green button and kick it in from, say, the uh, computer, or you can dial in on the number that's listed. I assume that's what you did because mm -hmm. you're talking to us now, and you can call in like that. Now, the Divine Mind Group, uh, J.D., if you will give them the web link or the email link for you, uh, many of these people will respond and uh, you can communicate and maybe give them extra information. Uh, can you do that? Especially how to get this call. We have a, a, a really nice-sized group here that is wanting to dig in and, um, you know, take this thing apart. And we we have about, I don't know, four or five-hour meetings once to twice a week. Okay. Uh, if you will just, like, if on your computer, mm -hmm. you'll write one, like O-N-E, that mm -hmm. heaven, H E A B E N, that's all lowercase, mm -hmm. dot org. Mm -hmm. I was there at the site. Yeah. And uh, you'll see like a doorway, and if you punch in the middle, it'll say welcome or something to that effect. Yes. It'll begin to open up. Now, to get this call, if you dial back in, um, let's say, or even type, uh, talk into the Divine Mind Group on TalkShoe, um, J.D. normally within about an hour to an hour and a half after a call, 
normally has that call posted. And you can either download it or 